So let me tell you right at the bat that this is not a paid course. It's fully free and it is going to be uploaded on YouTube. So now let's take a look at the project that we have. We are going to create at the end of this course. So this is the template that we have used in this course and it only have two pages and I created the other pages myself. So and I will include it in the link in the description so you can follow along. This project is a personal resume and here we got a header and here is uh, the works that we have created we have a title we have a thumbnail and we have a category if i click on any work here you can see uh, the title short description we can have a link to the github we have a multiple images and a description for other pages we have the login page and we are going to use Microsoft Identity for the registration and login. Although let me tell you that I will teach you about registration, so how a user can register to your website. But because this is a personal resume project, I'm not, I haven't implemented the registration. So we only have login here, but I'm going to teach you about signing up as well. After that, we have the dashboard. Here in dashboard, you can see all the works and the title, the category. Is it public or private? You can edit and delete them. Also, we can add a work. Here are the fields that we can add. And here are the section that we can add multiple images. We are going to have an update as well. And inside update, you can see the images that we have uploaded. You can delete them or you can select them as the default image, which is going to be showed inside the main page as the thumbnail of the work. So it seems like a small project, but believe me, you are going to learn a lot. And this course is for beginners. So we are going to learn about ASP.NET Core MVC from very basic we are going to have a deep dive into MVC architecture and how it works. We're going to learn about routings. We're going to learn about middlewares. I also wanted to include some basic networking knowledge that any backend developer should know. I'm going to talk about basic networkings like HTTP, IP addresses, what is a DNS and how a website works inside this course as well. After that, we are going to learn about Entity Framework Core I'm going to teach you about relational databases, one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-many. Then we are going to use identity system for our registration. So you want to learn a lot in this course. If you want to inspire me and help me to create more videos like this and encourage me to keep pushing forward, all you have to do is to click that like button. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.